So it's official. Stanley bottles contain lead. But what does that really mean? The 30 second cliff note summary is that a lead based solder is used in the bottom of Stanley bottles to seal in the vacuum insulation. Realistically, this isn't a health risk in most cases, and if your bottle is in good condition, then you probably don't need to worry. But if the base of your bottle becomes damaged, then you might want to consider switching it out for a new one. Three of the most popular alternative brands that already use a lead-free plug are Hydroflask, Clean Canteen, and Awala. And if that's all the information you were looking for, then I hope this video helped. Thanks for stopping by. Give us a quick like, and we hope to see you later. But if you'd like to learn a little more about the backstory and ramifications, then stay tuned because I'll dive into a little more detail and give my thoughts on what's coming next. So this all started when recent viral videos on TikTok showed lead tests coming back positive in their Stanley bottles. Eventually, the company had to respond and issued a statement saying essentially that lead is used in the manufacturing process, but that customers won't come in contact with it on the inside or outside as long as their bottle is in good condition. If the bottle does become damaged, you can file a warranty claim. Now, as mentioned, the specific use is in a lead-based solder that seals off the vacuum insulation. It's located at the base of the bottle in the middle. Lead Safe Mama has an amazingly detailed breakdown and investigation into all kinds of different bottles, and these are some of her images showing what the lead plug looks like. I highly encourage you to visit her website if you like even more information after this video, and I'll provide a link in the description. But the problem for Stanley is that most people won't listen to the finer details I just talked about for the last minute. Instead, they see the headline saying Stanley bottles contain lead, then this gets shared and creates shockwaves online. In many ways, this is Stanley's Nalgene moment. You know how every single bottle you look at says BPA-free somewhere on the packaging? That's because of the controversy years ago with Nalgene's and how they contained BPAs at the time, which are compounds found in certain plastics. The public pressed for change after learning about the potential health risks, and eventually when some major retailers stopped carrying any products with BPAs, Nalgene and similar brands switched to BPA-free alternatives like Triton, which Nalgene, Camelback, Yeti, and many other brands still use today. But the damage had already been done, and the fallout from the BPA revolution paved the way for alternative brands like Clean Canteen and Hydroflask to take significant market share away from Nalgene. Now Stanley is in a similar situation with lead, and they will almost certainly update their manufacturing process to remove lead from the equation. The good news for Stanley is that this is already being done. Companies like Hydroflask, Clean Canteen, and Owala already use a lead-free method to seal in the vacuum, so it shouldn't be difficult for Stanley to adopt similar procedures. The problem for Stanley is whether they can do this quickly, transparently, and fairly enough to their loyal customer base in a way that won't leave them feeling alienated. If they can pull this off, they can maintain their position as social media's favorite bottle brand. If not, you can bet that other brands will fill the public's new requirement to know their bottles are 100% lead-free. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Stanley offers some kind of bottle swap promotion where customers can trade in their older bottles for a new lead-free version. Yes, this would be extremely costly, but this kind of move would show their loyal followers that the company stands by them and their products. Time will tell if they do something like this, but you can almost guarantee that most major brands will switch to lead-free plugs as soon as possible and update their packaging to make sure people know about it. In the end, this is a welcome change. The further we can keep lead from our food and beverages, the better, and this market shift will make many people feel a lot more comfortable with their water bottles that they use every day. Thanks for watching and happy hydrating.